So this week you had homework, the atomic bohr model assignment. You had seven elements that you had to create a bohr model for. So we're going to go over these, but real quickly, I just wanted to review your rules. Um, when looking at the periodic table block here, you can get all the information that you need to be able to create your bohr model. So let's go ahead and do the first one together. Check your homework. Lithium was the first one. We have an atomic number of three, and that's where we get that from. Atomic mass, which is down here, the decimals, that's our atomic mass, and we're just going to go ahead and already round that to the nearest whole number. In this case, it's going to be seven. Protons comes from the atomic number. The atomic number gives us how many protons there are in an atom. Neutrons comes from taking the atomic mass minus the atomic number, giving us the number of neutrons. So we have four neutrons in this case. And in this case, it's because as a neutral atom, we know that the number of protons will also equal the number of electrons. So let's go ahead and draw this out. We'll start with the nucleus. And we have three protons in the nucleus. And we have four neutrons in the nucleus. Outside of the nucleus, we are going to draw our first shell. If you refer back to the rules, on the first shell, you can have up to two electrons. So we'll draw our first shell. And our electrons on it, we will have two. We need a total of three, but that's the max we're allowed on the first shell. So we have to draw a second shell. On the second shell, we can have, according to the rules, we could have up to eight, but we don't need eight more. We only need one more because we need a total of three electrons. So now we have one, two, three electrons. That is what your lithium Bohr model atom will look like. Let's go on to scandium. Scandium, 21 is our atomic number. 45 will be our atomic mass. Number of protons equals our atomic number. Neutrons is 45 minus 21. That will give us uh, 24. And we will have 21 electrons because we get that from our number of protons. So inside the nucleus, we have protons, 21 of them, and we have 24 neutrons. On that first shell, we can have up to two, and we will use both of them. On the third shell, or second shell, I'm sorry, second shell, we're allowed to have up to eight, in this case, we will use we will use all eight of them. So now I have a total of ten, and I need twenty-one. So I have to make a third shell. The third shell, according to the rules, you look back up at your rules. You can have up to 18 on the third shell. Will I need all 18? No. I have 10. I need 21. So I need 11 more. And remember, these electrons like to travel in pairs. Eleven. So now I have 21 total electrons, which is what I needed. So this is the scandium atom of, in the Bohr model. Next, we're going to do manganese. Manganese has an atomic number of 25. Its atomic mass, rounded, will be 55. I have 25 protons. 35 neutrons, I'm sorry, 30. 
I do the right math. 30 neutrons and 25 protons. So we'll start with what's in the in the nucleus. We have 25 protons, 30 neutrons. My first shell is allowed to have up to two. I need more than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my second and my third shells, because in this case I know I need that many. My first shell is allowed to have two. My second is allowed to have up to eight, which still only gives me 10. So now I have 10. I'm looking to get 25. I need 15 more. The third ring, I'm allowed to have 18. So I won't use all of them. I only need 15 on this outer shell here. And 15. So now I have a total of 25. That gives me my manganese atom, my Bohr model. The next one you needed to do was zinc. Zinc has an atomic number of 30. It has an atomic mass of 65. Protons is 30. My number of neutrons is 35. Remember, I get that from saying 65 minus 30. Okay? And my number of electrons is going to equal my number of protons in this case. So let's start with our nucleus again. We have 30 protons, 35 neutrons. We need at least three shells this time. We may even need a fourth. Let's see. First shell, I'm allowed to have two electrons only. So I have my two. Second one, I'm allowed to have eight. So I'm going to put all eight. I'm going to need them all. The next shell, I'm allowed to have 18. Right now I have 10. 10 plus 18 is 28. Yep, I'm still going to need more. So I'm going to use all 18 on this shell. All 18. So now I have 28. I need two more. So I have to draw another shell. And this one I'm allowed to have up to 32, but I have 28. I only need two more. So I'm going to put two more. So that is my zinc Bohr model atom. Next, I'm going to do fluorine. Fluorine has an atomic number of 9. Its mass is 19. Protons, 9. Neutrons is 19 minus 9 equals 10. And I have 9 electrons. So, 9 protons, 10 neutrons in the nucleus. I know I'm going to need one shell. It's going to have two. I'm going to need another shell. On my first shell, I know I'm going to need two. I'm looking to get nine total, so now nine minus two is seven. I need seven more. So now I have nine, and this is my fluorine Bohr model atom. Two more to do. Neon. Atomic number is ten. Right, get that from here. Atomic mass rounded is only 20. Protons 10, neutrons 10, right? 20 minus 10, and then 10 electrons. So in my nucleus, I have 10 protons, 10 neutrons, and I'm going to need 10 total electrons, and I can get that with just two shells. Two on the inside, eight on the second shell. OK, 
Okay, that is my neon Bohr model atom. Lastly is boron. Five is the atomic number. Eleven is my atomic mass. Five for number of protons. Six for neutrons. Five for electrons. In my nucleus, I have five protons, six neutrons. I only need five electrons, so two on the inside shell, first shell, and three on the outer shell, the second shell. Any questions? <laughs>